everyone, and thanks for tuning in. I'm Kelly Herbeck, and I'm here with Ryan Bates. Just wanted to do a quick update um, on stress avert emergence, which was our last video that we have uh, did. Just wanted to give you an update on what we've been seeing out there in the field. So what I've been out there looking for are, you know, those seeds that didn't germinate. They may have swelled up and vibed water, but they never actually germinated or they began to corkscrew shortly after as they began the germination process, showing that the cells were damaged. I'm right. um, also looking at seedlings that begin to leaf out underground, but really important to actually assess the evenness of germination and the evenness of the stand out there. Right, I mean, because as you look at it, uh, reducing your stand uh, can impact the overall yield, but also uneven emergence is gonna lead to uneven ear size. And you know, as you get those plants that are emerging, you know, one leaf stage behind, uh, that's gonna really impact the size of those ears. Uh, they get too far behind, two leaf stages behind, they're pretty much a runt, um, really just uh, out there uh, taking nutrients and sunlight away from uh, the plants that contribute to yield. So, right. so as we look at that, you know, so each field by field is going to vary, uh, hybrid by hybrid, uh, or hybrid is going to make a difference. Uh, but we want to really take in some of the research that's been done here over the past uh, few years or number of years to kind of look at what our yield potential is so we set the right expectations going forward. Um, you know, I guess here's a nice graph of one of our crop insights that we have that kind of go through some of those percent of max yield potential under various emergent scenarios. Um, so I'm going to go off one of the scenarios that I have um, going out in the field not too far um, from here. And really going out there looking at stands, and we've had about 60% um, of those plants emerge. About 20 plants have emerged early, and now uh, a few days, a week later, uh, we've had the other 12 come in there. So we hit our target stand, um, but when we look at that early 60% and our medium, I'd say, you know, another 40%. Really, we're at a 91% roughly yield potential on there. So we've given up about 9% of yield. So it is a significant hit, even though our plants are there. Mm -hmm. But uh, that unevenness of emergence has taken off our top end yield. Yeah, and that obviously, you know, it's a percent of what your yield target would be. So that comes into that replant discussion then, right? So right. if I have a 200 bushel yield environment versus 150 bushel yield environment, I may make some different um, decisions on what I'm going to do with that stand. I think a great place to go if you've got questions like this is our pioneer.com website where you can access our replant calculator. And that allows you to put in your original planting date, what your target population was, and where you're sitting today with your current population. You enter in when you could potentially get back into the field because you might want to get back there, but rain or some other things kind of keep you out. So it gives you a realistic way of actually looking at what your options are and gives you a look at what your revenue improvement would be if you came back in and replanted the field. And really the great thing about using a tool like this is it takes the emotion out of that decision. Right. Uh, too often you look at that field, you don't have the stand that you're shooting for when you're planting that day. Mm -hmm. you, you, you don't have high hopes uh, to, to have top end across the whole operation. Um, this really takes the agronomics and the economics into consideration, takes that emotion to all of it. You know, this gives us the idea of the overall revenue potential as well, but you also got to consider the cost that's going to take the, of uh, your time and the equipment and the seed to go back out there and right. replant that field. Yeah, what's what's really heartening to me, I guess, you know, I've been out there looking, most of the fields, 10, 20, maybe even 30% reduction from the cold stress at that time period. But if you look at the data, that says, even with a 30% stand reduction, I still have the ability to capture 93% of what my target yield was. Obviously, you have to factor into the kind of the things that Ryan just talked about with the evenness of the stand as well. Um, but I do think that you'd find that even with lower stands with that early planting date, don't get too concerned that you need to replant right off the bat, right? Well, that's correct. Yeah. So um, thank you guys for tuning in. We just want to continue to keep you update, up to date. So remember to follow us on Twitter for more live updates.